Hello friends, welcome to the FDPPI zone of the BTS 2020, the premier summit of the Karnataka government, which is conducted each year. I am Vijay Shankar, also known as Navi, chairman of FDPPI, the foundation of data protection professionals in India. I also welcome you at this event for the data protection related series of lectures, panel discussions under the Indian Data Protection Summit 2020, IDPS 2020, which is being conducted by FDPPI and to which all of you are welcome to attend without any fees. This will also happen between the 19th and 21st of uh, November. I will let you know the timings and the virtual venue a little later. Now, FDPPI is a not-for-profit company in India, we call that as a Section 8 company, limited by guarantees. It is registered under the Indian Companies Act. It is headquartered in Bengaluru. It is an organization which is owned and operated by data protection professionals and dedicated to the empowerment of the data protection ecosystem in India. This is not a government organization. This is not an organization promoted by any large company. It is an organization which has been created by the professionals who have their career stake in the system of data protection processing. There are several activities which FDPPA undertakes to fulfill its objective of being the premier institution in India serving the cause of data protection. There are, of course, outreach activities. We do try to advise the ecosystem on various policy issues. But more specifically, some of the activities which are of interest to the data protection professionals, I would like to briefly introduce. The first and the foremost activity which we have undertaken is for creating knowledgeable and skilled data protection professionals in India through a system of certified data protection professional courses. We would like to create a 360 degree proficient data protection professional and towards this end, we conduct a program consisting of five different modules. Module I, which covers Indian laws. Module G, which covers global laws. Module T, which covers the technology aspects relevant to the data protection industry. Module A, which covers the data audits, which is also required by a data protection professionals to understand and also for those who want to develop a career in data audits. Then module B, which is the module on behavioral skills, which are essential ingredients of a successful data protection officer. So this program consists of these five modules out of which module I and module G have been rolled out. The other three modules will be introduced shortly. And module I is presently available on tap through a streaming video uh, course. And module G is currently going on both in a live session mode, as well as it is available on the uh, streaming mode. The other three modules will be coming up in due course. The second most important activity which FDPPA has undertaken is to find an affordable 
solution for SMEs and MSMEs in order to remain compliant with the data protection laws, not only of India, but multiple laws to which an Indian company is exposed to. India being the hub of data processing for the globe is often confronted with a situation where a single company is exposed to the processing of personal data from different regions in the globe. And along with this comes the data protection law compliance requirements, which are specific to each of those countries. Therefore, what FDPPA is trying to do is to develop a unified framework for simultaneous compliance of multiple data protection laws. And that is called the PDPSI or the Personal Data Protection Standard of India for which FDPPA is developing a complete ecosystem of the standards, implementation specifications, training of the lead implementation auditors, and of course, providing guidance to the various <coughs> industries and organizations where this has to be implemented. Between the certification and PDPSI, a very large part of the requirements of the data protection industry has been indigenized. And in a way, these two products represent an effort towards having an Atmanirbhar project scheme under this particular uh, domain. The third important activity which FDPPA has undertaken is to provide an online dispute resolution platform specializing in resolving data disputes. The complexities of data protection laws, particularly when more than 100 countries in the world are going to have different data protection laws with different interpretation of what is a data I mean, um, uh, controller and the data fiduciary, data processor, data intermediary, who is having the rights of, uh, let us say, right to forget, some places where right to forget is not available. So there are so many complications in this data protection laws that resolving disputes which come between the data subject and the company or between one company and another company, including these companies which sign up uh, standard contract clauses, etc., is a matter which needs to be addressed by specialists. And towards this end, FDPPI is setting up a data disputes mediation and arbitration center or DDMAC, which will provide an online arbitration for this kind of uh, disputes. And this will be a unique proposition which will help not only the Indian companies, but also global companies. Apart from this, we also undertake an activity for motivating deserving data protection professionals in the country through a system of annual award. This award is called the FDPPA Champion Data Protection Professional and is awarded to an individual who has in a year contributed most to the development of the data protection ecosystem in the country and in keeping up with the objectives of FDPPI, which is not only a knowledge enhancement, not only the skill enhancement, but it would like the data protection professionals to have the right attitude, ethical attitude towards data protection and understand that we work in a whole world or universe where conflicting civil rights, like let us say the right to freedom of speech, right to information, right to security, they compete with the right to privacy and ultimately the society has to find harmony between these multiple civil rights activists. And FDPPA should always be the organization which remembers that privacy is a right which has to be adopted by the society voluntarily and not imposed by a deterrent 
system which may talk of 10% fine or 4% fine on the global turnover, which will only make companies fearful and not compliant. Compliance should be always not painful. It should be voluntary. And towards this, we need to develop various systems which assist in this harmonious development. And therefore, the data protection professionals have a unique responsibility and that is being realized through this recognition. We also remember that no individual can perhaps achieve things in the society without the cooperation of people around him. Therefore, this award comes as an integrated award in which the team around this successful individual, the company around this particular team are both recognized along with the individual as people deserving recognition. So this particular system of awards has just been initiated and by the next year we will be having the first such award. We are also going to start a data protection journal of India. The first of the journals will come in the next quarter starting from January 2021 and this will contain a compendium of developments in the data protection industry and should be helpful to data protection professionals for knowledge dissemination within their organization. Additionally, FDPPI has certain supplementary objectives that we should make data protection compliance affordable to SMEs and MSMEs, and we will try to do whatever is required for that. We have already ensured that our certification programs are very affordable. The PDPSI implementation is very affordable. And you can also see that even the knowledge sessions like what we are now planning under the IDPS 2020 comes without a cost. We want more and more people to adopt privacy protection through data protection. And towards that end, FDPPI would like to be the catalyst organization. Since FDPPI is headquartered in India, we also have a supplementary objective to ensure that Karnataka becomes the hub of data protection activities in India. Bangalore, which was earlier recognized as the Silicon City, and which was also tried to be the cyber security capital of the country. Now, at least, we will try to work towards making Karnataka as the hub of data protection activities in the country with, of course, the cooperation of all the people around us. So what next now for all of you? Having understood a little about FDPPI, please visit Indian Data Protection Summit 2020, which is happening <clears throat> concurrently as a virtual summit and happening over Zoom meeting for which access code will be available from our uh, FDPPI uh, website. We would like maximum number of people to participate in this IDPS 2020, which will have six sessions in which we will cover the conceptual aspects of data protection laws, the challenges, around implementation of data protection laws, as well as some of the solutions. It will be starting on November 19th and it will continue on November 20th and 21st. The timings are available for you to attend the live sessions. And subsequently, we will be keeping the recorded sessions also available on request so that the knowledge dissemination continues. And don't forget, to visit fdppi.in for further uh, information. Additionally, immediately, if you want more information, you can try to collect the brochures, one on uh, the FDPPI activities, one on the IDPS 2020, and also the services rendered by FDPPI partners, which all may be of interest to you, or at any point of time, visit fdppi.in.
with these activities, FDPPA is coming to a kind of uh, recognition, at least in India, that when you think data, you should think FDPPI, because FDPPI is working solely towards this data related industry. Today, Information Technology Act 2000 is the data protection law of India. We are already covering that aspect. In fact, I'm personally involved in cyber laws in India since 1998. Now the Data Protection Act is becoming a reality in the early part of January, February 2021, as expected. We will be devoting our attention on the Personal Data Protection Act of India. And in the coming years, when India becomes the first or the earliest country to enter into the data governance related legislation for regulating processing of non-personal data, FDPPA will also be there. That is why FDPPI is working on all dimensions of data processing from protecting the rights of personal data holders to the protection of legitimate interests of the organization and to protecting the legitimate interests of the regulators, the government and other stakeholders in the field of data processing. So think data, think FDPPI is what we are driving at. Thank you for listening and hopefully you will collect more information from FDPPI and probably join in this movement of data protection professionals by becoming a member and participating in all the activities of FDPPI. Thank you.